Hello everybody, um, first of all a Merry Christmas to you, uh, it's, uh, what's the date today? It's the 28th of December and it's finally a relatively dry although very overcast day and we're um, heading for some rain soon. Um, I'll, uh, if I remember I'll try and post a picture of the fields around where I live in the video here. So if you're looking for trees in this video, um, there aren't any, <laughs> but it, this is, uh, as the title suggests, uh, what my wonderful family bought me for Christmas. So um, things that we can look forward to sharing together in the YouTube world next year. So we'll start off with, this is a rather nice pot, um, cream pot, a very deep cream pot. I'm going to have to do some thinkings um, as to what exactly I'm going to put in that, which tree I'm going to put in this pot. Um, but it is a very nice pot nonetheless. This one my wife bought in a local garden centre, so it didn't have much packaging. Um, so I was able to unwrap it quickly and quietly on Christmas morning. Um, likewise, this rather sweet little blue pot. Um, Again, come the spring we'll be putting a tree in that, but I don't know which one just yet. So what else did I get? I hear you cry. Well, yeah, no, I wasn't totally restrained. Um, I did partially unwrap this and have a look. And I left it in the wrapping um, just to transport it down to the bottom of the garden here. And uh, we have a nice little cascade pot, which, uh, yeah, it's a little bit big. For some of the new cascades I started this last year but um, we can put one in it and we will see how it grows. So yeah so, so far so good. Some nice little pots there. What else we got in my magic box? Okay we have a kind of had a quick look in here. It's a kind of goldy colour. Um, uh, all the fun of unwrapping. Still, as I say, they were Christmas paper wrap, but I haven't just, you know, been a philistine and not unwrap my presents. And ta-da! That's a. I don't know what colour you would call that. Uh, bronze, maybe. Um, a very nice pot. Very nice pot indeed. Good drainage. Um, what will go in there? Uh, anybody's guess. Um, uh, just in case you're wondering. I didn't just get pots. Um, here's a little example of a few other things I got. Okay, so what's next out of my magic box? This oh, heavy old thing. Again, yes, I did have a sneak preview. Uh, this was well, I bought by post, so it arrived duly bubble wrapped. Um, a very nice cream pot. I think I'm going to leave it in the bubble wrap rather than take any more off for now, but you can see it is a, quite a good sized pot. Let me hold the, the Coke can up for comparison. Um, complete with a, a drip tray, water tray underneath. So, again, off the top of my head, I can't think of a tree of mine to go in it, um, but I'm sure I will by spring and there'll be some videos on that. Uh, maybe if you have an idea. You can pop it in the comments below. Like I said, I'm going to leave this in the bubble wrap because it's going to live in the shed for the next couple of months. Uh, just protect it a little. 
Okay, next we have a sweet little green pot. Again, getting the paper off was easy, but getting the pots out of the protective packaging less so. But Yeah, beautiful, sweet little green, green pot. I'm liking that. Um, I'm thinking possibly one of my willow projects um, with the yellow stems would look nice against the green in the winter. So that's a possibility. And just in case you're wondering whether Cooper got anything, here's a little something he enjoyed. Okay, back to my magic box. Um, that comes with magic knife this time. That's what we got that. Um, just speed things up a little bit for you. What have we got? Another beautiful little blue pot. Um, almost a twin of that first one. Is that? Not quite. No, not quite a twin. Very nearly. Slightly different colour. Um, yeah, beautiful pot. None of these have any markings, they're not. Um, maybe any particular pottery or anything would seem. But my wife chooses some nice pots and then leaves me with the conundrum of um, you know, what tree to put in them. But, you know, there are worse problems to have, I guess. Ready for the big reveal. Oh yes. Again it's another well, a goldy bronzy colour. I'm really yeah, not entirely certain sure what I would call that. Um, I'm thinking with that a nice little group planting of um, maybe some field maple. I have a number of field maples that would look quite nice in that, so there's something to look out for. The possibility comes spring as well. Um, I'm gonna have a wonderful spring. Whether you guys have a wonderful spring um, watching the videos with me or not, that's entirely up to you. Uh, subscribe if you want to see those. And, uh, just gonna clear up some of all this cardboard that's under my feet, and then we'll get on with some more unwrapping. There's more to come yet, guys. Okay, so back to the magic box and yeah, glimpse through after taking off the wrapping paper, a charming little green pot, but let's find out exactly how charming, shall we? I hope this isn't coming across as some sort of, look at me, I'm clever. Um, and I've got a lot of things because that's not how it's meant. Uh, if it's meant as anything, it's a look at what a wonderful family I have who um, indulge me in the things that I love. Whether it be bonsai or um, tasting new whiskies or my passion for Alice Cooper and his music. Um, and yes, I got a few Alice Cooper t-shirts and uh, sweatshirts and a new Alice Cooper book as well as all these bits and pieces. So yeah, there's a nice little pot. Quite deep, quite chunky. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure. I am wondering whether the big walnut uh, that I'd, I'm growing would look nice in this pot. Mm, that's a distinct possibility. Uh, so yeah, the walnut for sure might go in that pot. Okay, only a few more. If you're getting bored, only a few more. Aha, that is a nice pot. I'm thinking something evergreen. Um, yeah, possibly, possibly um, 
a pine or a spruce or maybe not maybe a, something like a knitted a uh, or a knitted a one of those would look fine in that as well as I said earlier in the video nice problems to have trying to figure out what you're going to do with these pots okay I seem to be getting to the end of my magic box now tragically um, this must have been a, a more local pot in that it's I just brought it home it's not come through the post I imagine again that's quite a gorgeous chestnuty colour like a roast chestnut uh, almost looks hand painted but I'm sure that's just the way the glaze is it's very attractive and there's a VP I think it's a mark if anyone knows what that means again I'm thinking a nice group maybe um, yeah perhaps a group of Zelkova and have a few of those or maybe ash Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Finally, at the bottom of the magic box, we have quite a large pot. Uh, let's just move the camera down now that there's a bit more space. The magic box is gone. Okay, now that's a beautiful pot. Made in China. And uh, it would have been nicer to perhaps have slightly bigger drainage holes, but it has a couple of holes to tie in the tree in as well. And uh, yeah, that's a very nice pot. I do like the, um, I have no idea what that's called, pattern. Um, it's making a panel, I suppose. Uh, with the great glaze that almost looks like it's sagged a little in the firing but yes this is a really pretty pot and so there we have it in my Christmas haul 2019 um, stay sub subscribed and uh, by the time we get to April May of 2020 all of these pots should have a tree in them and you can watch them all on my channel. Thank you all for watching. And as always, please, please do take care of yourselves. And a happy new year to you all.